All right, so you or someone you know is in isolation or even quarantine. At this point, it's pretty normal, but far from the vacation that people are expecting, two weeks in isolation can be really hard on the mind. So, how do you stay sane? Joining us with the answers is Israeli psychologist Dr. Camila Folkosh-Levan. So first, Camila, I just want to say that this is not a snow day or anything, right? You know, this, a day off from school for social distancing is to stop the spread of the virus. So don't break quarantine, right? Uh, you know, but why is that so hard for people to understand? Because we're seeing people, you know, really not understanding that they should be in isolation. Uh, I think uh, the whole situation is very, very strange psychologically because it's not something that, that you ever expect to be in the middle of. It's not something that, that uh, you can prepare yourself, uh, so to speak, yes. It's not something that's in the social consciousness, if you will, yes. So also it's a, it's a threat that you don't really see, so you don't know. Like we all saw the scary movies kind of a thing on one hand. On the other hand, it doesn't seem, the statistics don't seem to be that scary. So it's very confusing for people to like decide where to be on this whole subject. To hide, to be scared. How how much scared should I be, right. or not at all? And and it gets even more complicated, of course, with children involved. Sure. All right. Well, so you're advocating really amidst this crisis to to take this time to do some internal spring cleaning. What do you mean by that? So we're already here. It, it, it's obvious not something that anyone would choose to like find themselves in the midst of, but we're, we are already here. This is the situation, yes? So if you happen to be, for example, in quarantine, or a lot of us, even though officially we're not in quarantine because of the restrictions, uh, many choose to just not go out or limit uh, the going out part. So, you know, get books, find hobbies, see maybe things that you always wanted to do in life and never really got a chance to, or just even to sleep. You know, I, I speak to some many people and uh, frankly I'm one of them uh, is that is that uh, sometimes we just want to rest and, and have the time but there's so much to do and there's like we never have time to just rest and, and, and reflect and and this is the time you have time to sleep in do something draw paint take up knitting you know like figure out what it is that, that that's good for you for your soul just literally for you and 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 not who know, this is gonna finish it's gonna it's sure. gonna end you know, so, so so use this time because then you're going to feel bad. Like, okay, why didn't I just use this time to, to rest and to catch up on things and, you know, to find the hobby maybe that I would like to do, go on the internet, do the search, read the books, do some yoga, just literally find what it is that you as a person would like to do. All right, well, I think that's a pretty good message. You know, take, take this time for maybe some introspection and self-reflection instead of, you know, hitting the beach in giant droves and, and possibly spreading the virus even more. Camila, thank you so much for joining us again. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you. Thank you. Stay safe.